one thing we didn't talk about at the top of the search, on top of the command line, are these tabs. These are very powerful items because it gives you a bunch of extra workspaces. Thank you. So let's let's change things out here. Okay, so I'm working here in Matthew, and I'm doing my work in Matthew, and I, I want to change things around a bit. I want I'm going to click on a second tab. It automatically brings over everything I have from the first tab. So it brings over my search version, my display versions. It brings up my analysis window tab uh, tab settings. Now let's change it around here a bit. Uh, I want to I'm going to put in here. Um, uh, let's let's. First of all, I'm going to WTT what my WTF is my search version, so on a Hebrew text, which of course changed it to Genesis. And just for the sake of removing things, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete D space C. I mean I just want to change it so you see it's all different. And I'm gonna D WTT, just for Hebrew text. Okay? And uh, now I'm gonna go to the analysis window. Okay. So it's very different than what I have in my first tab. And I'm gonna go back to my first tab. See, it's all back to the way it was. Back to the second tab, and notice that it's it's very different. So now I can I can do all sorts of searches. I'm just going to double click on things and change things around here, and then I can go back here after I'm done searching. Go back to my first tab. I didn't lose my place in my study. Yes. So you have twelve of those. There's twelve there. You can add or remove them. I can right click on these and I can say um, insert a new tab after, in this case, tab number seven. Wow. So or before tab number seven. I can delete tab number seven. So you can add and remove them. By default it comes in with 12 there, but you can add and remove them as you wish. Uh, one thing you can also do is set the tab title. So I'm at, I'm at tab number seven, is where my cursor was, so I'm gonna just select that. And now I'm gonna type in here, um, type hope, because I couldn't find all these type it in here. And uh, you don't have to put it all caps, but Okay, and now here it's named as hope. And so maybe I'm doing a study on the word hope. So I may want to name that because I may want to come back to that later. So I can click on that. And uh, now here, maybe I just want to search on hope. And there we go. Okay, so, so you, can, you can name, you can add, remove them as you wish. Uh, those are great for saving your place. So if you want, you're working through the text, you want to stay there, you're doing a book study, but you want to go you know, chase a rabbit in another book, you can do that and not lose your place. You may want to have a, a tab that you set aside just for personal devotions. You may want to put DEV, in, and that's, that's where your reading is then. So you just want to, it'll automatically save where you left off in your reading then. Or maybe have a tab, this is for my Sunday school lesson. Another tab for this is where my, my sermon study is. Uh, this is another tab for a paper I'm working on or a book I'm working on. Um, that's a, a great way to use the tabs. You can name them appropriately as well. Now there's other things you may want to do too. You may want to have one for Hebrew. You have tab eight, and I'm gonna, or actually I'm gonna start, so I don't have to add everything in here. I'm gonna start up number two. Let's just, let's just rename this, since I'm dealing with Hebrew here, I'm gonna set my tab title as Hebrew. Look okay. Now maybe I wanna have one here. I'm gonna start off my tab one. This is New Testament. So I'm gonna rename this here. Set the tab, this is Greek. Or made a tab four, I'll, re I'll rename this here, title. Uh, let's just do this, this is uh, AP, APE for Apostolic Fathers. You now, so you can do work there. So, and then you can change your version. So, here, maybe I want to have the APE DC, clear all my out. So, so you, can, you can set things up for your different types of study. So, this, this can be useful if you're doing um, um, diachronic word studies. So you want to start back in, you know, Genesis, and you know, maybe do, do something with the Pentateuch. Maybe you don't have a Pentateuch tab. You can do that, and then you know, go through. Maybe you don't have a wisdom literature tab, a, a historical tab. Then you want, maybe you want to have uh, one of the Gospels. Maybe you have another one of Paul's writings, another one of, you know, the Catholic epistles. You know, those, that type of thing, Revelation. Uh, and then you can do, you can add another tab that has uh, Old Testament pseudepigrapha, one for Philo, one for Josephus, one for Apostolic Fathers. Maybe another one for targums. So you can then search through all these different things. Maybe you want to have a tab where you're working with uh, some of these Greek and Hebrew manuscripts. Well, mostly Greek manuscripts. But, um, so you can set up separate tabs for that, depending on whatever your your work style is. Now, say you get a bunch of tabs, and say you you really get into this, and you're making a whole bunch of new tabs, and 
Now you're up to 45 tabs. No, no. You don't want to do that. That's too much. Um, but you can add, or you can, you can save and open tab sets. If I right click, I can save tabs to disk. And I can load tabs from disk. So you may want to have a diachronic study set. Save that to a disk. So name it, save it, you know, set it up as, as you wish. Save that, maybe have another set for your sermon prep. For all different tabs set up. And then uh, say you get, uh, you know, it's all jumbled up with things and you want to clear things out, you want to start a fresh slate, right click and clear all tabs and set the current. Click yes, and there they are, back to default. Now if I go to my tab two, it's going to bring over tab one, content, so it has to start with something. So there it is, and I can go in and do what I wish to. Okay.